let them make out and watch. It's our first ever Human Lab Soap Star Edition. You got into the shower for us. Yes, I got a little carried away. These three stars are testing three products to find out if you should spend your money. Go, go. Then... Sorry, they don't recline. <laughs> uh, so welcome. So how many people know what the Human Lab uh, segments are on our show? Have you ever seen those where we have some of our viewers test drive products for us? Well, today we have a, a, a new twist on our uh, Human Lab. We're going to do Human Lab, the Soap Star Edition. <laughs> really fun. We took three actual genuine uh, daytime uh, stars and asked them to test drive different products that promised different things. So watch this. Our first ever, this is the first participant in our first ever Human Lab Soap Star Edition. Watch this. Quiet. Five, four, three, three. I've never been much of a shrinking violet. No, you're more like a Venus flytrap. <laughs> Rebecca Budig plays cosmetic mogul Greenly Smythe on the hit daytime soap, All My Children. As the queen of fusion fragrances, Greenly has to be fashion forward. Rebecca says that's something she has in common with her character, especially when it comes to wearing high heels. Greenly was born in heels. Born in them. I'm talking every day wears heels. I don't think I've ever worn a flat on the show. Heels make a girl feel sexy. I'm a small person. I'm like 5'1", and so I always like to wear a heel because it makes me taller. And I stand differently, and my legs feel longer, and my feet, they feel like horrible walking home from work. I'm like, I can't even walk anymore. I'm probably gonna need foot surgery here in a couple years. In a perfect world, I think it would be nice to have something to put in my shoe to, to <laughs> soften the blow. Well, say no more, Rebecca. We found a product that claims to do just that. So I just got these uh, insolias. Unlike padding or cushioning, which only mask the underlying problem, these new patented insolia inserts shift the body's weight and lessen strain on feet, legs, and back. I hope that these actually um, relieve the, the pain in my toes that I, that I experience when I wear heels. I'm gonna try them, put them in my shoes, and see how my feet feel at the end of this scene, <laughs> and see what happens after you know a long week. Excruciating. Well, <laughs> now, you know, is, is, are that. the really cool shoes kind of the best and the worst part of your job? Yes, they are. <laughs> Actually, I love the shoes that I get to wear, and I feel great in them. I feel a little sexier. Um, but my feet take a beating. Gotcha. I gotcha. So, Insolia, isn't it funny when they come up with like a new thing that's been around for a while? Like insoles have been around. Yeah. They always put a like a flourish on the end. Insolia. Insolia. <laughs> Here we go, let's, let's meet our Human Lab Soap Star Edition, uh, the second participant. Watch this. Sexy, sassy Nadia Bjorlin plays Chloe Lane on Days of Our Lives. Don't tell me to shut up! Nadia says working on a soap can be grueling with year-round schedules and long hours. But you do get some weeks off here and there, and you can take a vacation, and you get to travel, which I love to do, of course. Nadia says when she's on the road, she doesn't get pampered like she does on the set. You can basically roll out of bed in the morning, get in your car, come to work, and have somebody blow dry your hair, put on makeup, give you fabulous clothes to wear, and you basically don't have to think. Fabulous. So Nadia quickly agreed to try a product that seemed tailor-made for her life on the road. Soap, paper soap, for a soap star. How fitting. Instructions, wet your hands and rub together with a soap sheet. 
sheet will melt away and your hands will be washed and left smelling pleasantly fragrant. Ooh, this sounds nice. Let's go try this. I think it's extremely important that a product lives up to the expectations and the hype and what is being advertised on the box because consumers expect a good result and uh, there's nothing worse than buying something and it not being what you thought it was. Please welcome Nadia Bjorlin. ridiculous we asked a soap star to try out soap but I mean come on who wouldn't right very appropriate right it's funny yeah. and I, I think this is kind of cool for you know you have a long day you're taping you got to get on a flight to go to the other coast or something you know it's it's hard to bring big cleaning solutions with you you can't get on or off an airplane with them yeah this especially is, nowadays yeah exactly I mean it seems like a cool thing if you have like soap paper I mean, very cool concept all right, so let's, uh, we had to get a guy in on this, so let's, let's meet our third participant in our first ever Human Lab Soap Star Edition. Check him out. Okay, I'm coming. For the last six years, fans of One Life to Live have enjoyed John Paul of Wassier as the steamer reps balsam. Can we drop this, please? I own a nightclub and I'm a private investigator and I just sleep with my ex-mother-in-law uh, and now I'm a little better. He's a charmer who has a way with the ladies. I, I've kissed more people here than I have in my real life. Yes, I've kissed a lot of people on this show. About a dozen. If you're wondering how JP's breath is when he's doing all that kissing, well, why not ask some of his co-stars? Hi, Dorian. What's cooking? I've only kissed him one time in a flashback. This I mean, is true. It was fine, though. It was fine. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's pleasant. I get coffee breath sometimes. What? Her breath smells like a bed of roses. Just like my love for her. That was the right answer. I'm really good with subtext. Keeping a fresh breath is very important. Wash that mouth. Those always tell me I have a sixth sense about it. Yeah, but do you have a mouthwash that lasts 24 hours? I thought not. That's why we're sending you over a product that claims to last the entire day and night. Four hours. 20 Four hours. It's alcohol free. It's clinically proven. With zinc ion technology, that's probably the key ingredient there. And then you repeat rinsing every morning and night or every 12 oh, hours. Oh, wow. Thanks. You know, we were we were all talking watching your piece that there isn't anybody who couldn't use this if it actually works, because I need like gallons of coffee a day. Right, yeah. So I always I. have coffee breath or garlic, you know, running through you my do veins. Right now, I, well thanks a lot. Not, I really appreciate that, no JP. Problem. Good morning. Good morning, how you doing? Great. Now, you know, a lot of people ask celebrities, especially the fellas that get a lot of ladies at work. Oh, is it tough doing all those love scenes? Is it nerve-wracking? Or you know, and some guys say it's great, and some people really do say it's awkward. How uh, is it for you? Honestly, you know, once you get past the initial, if you have to kiss somebody for the first time, once you get past that first kiss, then it's mm -hmm. like, you know, smooth sailing for the rest of you know, that first, you know. Business as usual. Business as usual. The hard, I think the hardest part about kissing somebody is leaving the, uh, what we say, the tongue at the deli, which means you leave your tongue in your mouth. <laughs> That's the hardest part. It can Especially be hard when you're kissing for like three minutes, it can be hard. You have a hard time, so we have to have a kissing scene. <laughs> you better work on that, kids. For three minutes. Yeah, they'll okay. they'll be working on that over the break, and when we come back, our first edition of Human Lab Soap Star. Um, well, they'll tell us what what worked and what didn't, what was all washed up. <laughs> uh. <laughs> if you haven't been watching Rachel, you won't believe.